Crimes for Wednesday's riot at the Capitol. A police officer among the dead, along with a Trump supporter, three others, died from medical emergencies. Now the president says he will not attend the inauguration for Joe Biden, and he's been banned from Twitter. A whirlwind few days, and tonight we have team coverage. Start off with WGN's Jenna Barnes. Yeah, she is following the latest on the investigation and the charges against those involved, including an update on the CEO from the Chicago area. Jenna. Ray, Micah, that CEO is one of 13 charged in federal court, 40 more charged in D.C. court as the FBI and other agencies try to track down who was part of the riot. The man captured on camera with his feet on House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's desk turned himself into sheriff's deputies in his home state of Arkansas this morning, and the FBI took him into federal custody. We are very thorough and meticulous in our searches, and this will be no different. The FBI spoke to reporters outside Richard Barnett's home, where agents were executing a search warrant. Federal prosecutors announced today Barnett is one of nearly 60 people charged for crimes committed at the Capitol, and what the Bureau says is only the beginning of its effort to identify the rioters. They were destructive. They resulted in tragic loss of life, and they threatened our nation's security. A state lawmaker from West Virginia is charged with entering a restricted area. A handful of others are facing weapons charges. An Alabama man accused of having nearly a dozen Molotov cocktails in the bed of his truck. We urge the public to continue uh, viewing photos and videos of this incident, and we hope that others will come forward with identifications. Experts say investigators are also combing through video posted on social media and recorded through the Capitol's own robust camera network. They will be using, I'm sure, many tools, I don't want to get into specifics, that will help them identify faces on multiple media platforms. Some of that video is hard to watch, like this clip that shows a man throwing a fire extinguisher at officers, hitting at least two in the head. D.C. police say they can't confirm the identity of those officers, and they're still investigating the death of U.S. Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick. Law enforcement officials say he was killed when someone hit him in the head with a fire extinguisher. There is going to be tremendous video to be able to identify how it happened. And then the hard part will be gathering the physical evidence. There were thousands of people that walked through that crime scene. Ed Farrell spent more than 20 years as a U.S. Marshal finding fugitives. He says the Marshals will play a big role in this investigation. This event occurred in Washington, D.C., and the suspects and perpetrators have now scattered across the country. So there's going to have to be arrest warrants that are issued um, to locate these people across the country. And he says because of the thousands in the crowd, that's something that could take months. Also charged today, Bradley Redscalis. He was the CEO of Schomburg-based Cogencia. He's charged with knowingly entering a restricted building, and his company has now fired him. Ray and Micah. All right, Jenna Barnes in the newsroom. Thank you. And we're still